Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today I'm finishing up the Journal With Me series here featuring this Bow Bunny paper pad, the Boulevard Collection. I have so enjoyed playing with this and my journal is just about complete to where I would feel comfortable using it. I just have a couple of more pockets and tucks and such that I want to add just something to it just in case. Um, so let's go ahead and flip to those. So here I'm going to leave that writing space empty. Now this envelope I'm leaving empty as well so that I can tuck my journaling into this envelope. And the same thing with this window pocket here. I'm going to leave that empty and put my journaling down inside there. And then we have this top tuck I need something for. And I want to cover up the writing here so that's one thing. And the next spot is this pocket here. I want to be able to tuck something fun into there. So that's two. And then we have another flip out. Then we have three here. And that is it pretty much because I have a tiny spot here. So a mini and then a big one here. Um, I know originally I wanted to use this beautiful house inside here. I thought this color scheme was absolutely perfect. So I'm still going to do that. I just want to check and see if it'll fit in one of these bigger pockets. Um, not that one. This, there's one right here. It's the same type of paper right here. And I think it will fit in there, but I'm going to have a hard time getting it in and out. And I don't want to mess up this doily. So I'm going to go ahead and see if it'll fit. Not there, but in the back, in the very, very back. Okay. There we go. Absolutely. It does fit in there very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover up the back of this. And then I want to add some red to the front just to bring in those three main colors since there's a green tree and it's just, yeah, it's just what I want to do. So let me see here what I have for scraps. I've got some little bitty pieces left still. And then I have some two pretty big pieces. So since it already has blue on there, I may end up using this page. Let me take a peek here. What is my final... My final paper, you can still kind of see that um, pattern there, but you know, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I really like that floral pattern, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Let me grab my trimmer. I really, really am excited for this journal project to be um, finished. I do get, um, <laughs> I get excited that I'm going to be able to start using it here soon. So that to me is like the most exciting part. And, um, you know, I really enjoy the whole journal making process. That's for sure. It definitely is, um, really fun. It's really creative, but, um, yeah, I, I really don't know how I'm going to be using this journal as of yet. I'm going to see just a little bit of overhang from, um, the image here, but I don't want to cut up another sheet. I think we're just going to use what we have so that I have some full sheets to play around with stuff later on. Oops. I just dropped something on the ground. Okay, so what I wanted to do was add a little pocket snippet thingy. I don't know what you technically call these, divot hole things. Yeah, so this is how I do it. I turn it around upside down so I can look at it, and I just guesstimate the middle and pop just like that so that I can easily get in whatever I'm going to tuck in there. So that's what we're going to do with that, and I'm going to put this going this way. I think the roses look nice there. So let's go ahead and attach this little beautiful paper to my house pockets that I made out of a book page a long, long time ago and I found it in my stash when I was looking through some stuff and I didn't use any book pages, which is really interesting as well that I didn't use any in this particular project just because um, I forgot. I forgot I had that drawer, to be honest with you guys, because it sits in there and it slid into the little drawer where it's supposed to go. So there's that. Now let me see. I want some red. For sure I want some red in here. I don't have anything red. I know I don't have any. Or I'm pretty sure that I don't ha even have any of that red paper left. I think I used them. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I'm going to use just a sliver of this. I'm going to pull it out. There we go. And I just want a border. Like just a little bit. Oh gosh, I there are red flowers down here actually. Oh, now I'm struggling. Maybe, hmm, there's red on the back. Oh gosh, Ugh. it's so hard. Maybe I'll just do a scallop and I'll put it up here at the top just to bring in some of that red. I could do red butterflies too. What do you think? Scallop, hmm, what if I did a scallop out of here, out of this? 
I don't have any red on here though. Yeah, okay, go with the original plan. I'm gonna just do a red scallop. There we go. And then I still have that whole sheet that I can do something else with for like a whole nother project. So I'm really excited about that. Let me go ahead and grab my little teeny tiny punch here and I'm gonna give it a fun little center. Actually, maybe I'll use, yeah, I'm gonna use these because it's the same paper that's on the back and I'm just gonna punch it wherever I feel like punching it. I'm not gonna actually look. There we go, perfect. Actually worked out great by not looking. Sometimes I, <laughs> I get lucky. Grab my glue and go ahead and pop that baby down. Or not so much popping it down. My glue doesn't want to come out. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back. I switched to my Elaine's Tacket glue because I don't know what's going on with the fabric tech. It's just plugged. I want to make sure I put the rows on going the right direction. There we go. Just like that. Just want a little bit of pop of red on here. I feel like that's going to be really cute. Even though that this whole entire part of it is going to be tucked in to the pocket. <laughs> you won't even see that. So, but that's all right. You'll see it when you pull it out. And you'll also see those beautiful red florals on the other side. So that way I can add a little note to myself of what I want to use this journal for and all that kind of thing to the back here. I don't want to pop that in the pocket just yet, so I'm going to set it like that just to give it a chance to dry. Now here, I'm thinking I should add a little ticket. I think that'll be super adorable. So let's do that with... I think that might be too much for that birdie to handle there. This blue teal stuff though, I really, really like. Um, these are just packaging from some jewelry things that I've that I've kept because I really like the silver and I like the teal. So I was like, oh, let's just keep that. Um, so I don't, let's see here. Let me just, let me just play around for a second here. Let's just go ahead and, oh, that does cut very nicely. That's not straight. And I'm just going to try to turn it into like a little faux stamp. I love doing this. These are my favorite type of scissors to use. This is Paper Edge Friskers. It looks like a stamp. I think it's super fun. So I'm going to have a little tiny, whoops, stamp to tuck in here. And I think I'm going to make two. Uh, there's enough space on here for me to cut another one. And I can have one showing that silver and then one showing the... Um, there we go. Teal. And I think that will be a really cool little touch. Just something tiny to tuck in there. And go back to my little birdie here. There we go. I know it doesn't exactly go with our color scheme, but I really like the papers. So there we go. And it kind of is like a dark teal, which is really nice. All right, done with that. And now let's flip back here to my top tuck and then I have that pocket here and then an, another or a top tuck and a corner tuck. I want to cover this so I think let's focus on this part. I really like this bird over here and I don't really want to draw too much attention away from that bird so I'm thinking of using a really neutral cream because I don't want to use the same paper. I have a scrap of that up there so I don't want to use the same paper down here. Um, if I did a corner uh, a bottom thing that's not going to work that great. And I'm, I don't necessarily want to use another, um, oh my gosh, another scallop punch. That's pretty much all I have sitting over here that's big enough to uh, cover that up with, unfortunately. So maybe I'll just stick this on there. Well, then it hangs over. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem with that. I mean, I could, ah, ah let's see. What if, let me grab some stickers, hold on. Okay, I went and I pulled out my um, little organization that I have here going on for my stickers. And I just wanna pop a floral down here. Ooh, look at that, it's really pretty. And here's some other roses that are really subtle. Um, forgive me, I'm terrible with uh, flower names. <laughs> Unless I really like it, then I'll learn what name it is. But I'm thinking that that would be absolutely gorgeous just to have right down there. On the bottom and I think I'll just do a circle behind it I'm gonna try and see if I have enough space on here on this yellow if I can just get a circle pretty close I can almost get a circle a full circle right here oh you guys can't see I'm sorry a full circle right here and since I can't get the full circle in there I am gonna just go ahead and come over here to my 
cream just to keep it really neutral. And then I'm going to place one of these beautiful little roses since roses are a theme throughout our journal. Oh, and it fits on there perfect. Super adorable. I just didn't want to have anything too over the top. I really want your focus to be, you know, on the actual Bow Bunny paper pad. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And I love the bird there. It's really, really pretty. I might even, don't want to, yeah, I'm just going to snip off this edge once it dries. Okay, so now working on the top part of here, let me get my stickers out the way. I think, well, now that I've cut into this red, where's my red paper? It's, there's an envelope here, and then that's way back there. So I think we'll go ahead and do a red. Yeah, why not? Let's do red. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So let me grab my trimmer. Here it is. And this was supposed to be a quick video. Sometimes crafting isn't quick. It's, I struggle with the decision making. And I don't want to get anything that's too fat. So that's obviously got to be a little bit thicker than that. So let's try three. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could just fold this. Maybe I could just fold that. There we go. Whatever size that is, that's what we're going to do. And um, it'll be like a little journaling card if it will fit. Oh my gosh, look, it was meant to be. It does cover up my bird. And so I'm going to trim down just a little bit because I really want to be able to see that goose swimming in the water. I really like to look at that. So I'm going to trim off a little bit of this. There we go. Nice little strip for something. Hopefully that was enough. Oops. Where you at? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, get that in there. It's kind of tricky. There we go. And I am going to round my corners just for a little bit of extra. I really like rounded corners. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that. Some people don't care for rounded corners, but I really like the way it looks. There, and then it does have a cute little card that I can journal on. You really like that. Oh, yes. Perfect. Let's do a, um, I like to do like a belly band type of a middle across there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And um, it just adds a little bit of something on the front of the card that I can stick stuff on. I think you've seen me do it a few times. That's how I do a lot of my cards that I send out to people. And I just really like the way that it looks. So I'm just going to line that up. Not that exactly in the center. It's a little bit more towards the bottom. Just because I like it a little bit off. I'm actually going to open this up so I don't go over the edge. There we go. Could have used my ATG gun there. But you know. <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever today. I have too many options next to me. And I'm going to snip that off. Just like that. Okay. Beautiful. Let's add... I really still want to use this little metal embellishment. I absolutely love how it looks. So I'm going to use, let's see, does this do metal? I don't even know. I don't really even use metal for a whole lot of things. Um, let's try it. We're going to try Elaine's Tacket with this metal piece. I really think this is going to look cool. Just like that. Isn't that going to look cool, guys? To me, it does. <laughs> I just like it. So I'm going to just glue the heck out of the center of this. And if this doesn't hold, I'll come back and I'll use... Um, a piece of um, like dryer sheet or ribbon or something and then I'll fabric tack it down and that will hold it so I'm not sure if that's gonna hold or not so if you see in the next video that there is something behind there that's why because I will come back and do a final flip through here on my channel so I'm gonna leave that for now way over here so I don't bonk it okay so that's our insert for our top tuck I think that's it I think no wait you have to do something for this pocket here one more thing okay one more little thing what should we make so we have like a little card um, some journaling spots what would be cute in here what would be cute in here how about hmm I really feel like I used a lot of the red and the florals oh, oh, oh I know I know I know the perfect thing right here from that hunting set there was this nice little notepad thingy here and it has a bird on the other side I just thought this was super adorable I want to see if I can get this to fit in that pocket I saved it special to go in the journal so let's just see if I cut this out really quick there we go if I can make that work there we go and 
line this up. I'm going to try to leave that little drop shadow. I don't know. It might be too fat for the, for the pocket itself. And if that's the case, it's fine. Not a big deal. I just thought it was a really neat little, like, papery, spiraled notebook looking thing here. I thought it was super cute. I'm trying to line it up. It's not, like, straight on the page there. And it does have some rounded corners. Now where I cut at the top isn't straight, so that's going to bug me. I'm definitely a straight edger. It's either straight or it's rounded. There's not really any, any middle ground here. So let's just see. Are you meant to be? You can't. I'm going to have to cut the bottom off. It's going to be a pain to get that in and out of there. But what if I folded it? What if I folded it? And then tucked it in. I know it'll be a lot smaller, but it'll fit. It'll fit in there. That's kind of small, isn't it? All right, let me think on that. Let me see what else I have over here that I really wanted to use in my journal. I do really like this wood grained pattern here, but I don't like how they're all offset. So probably not going to be using that. I have some plain paper. Um, not really seeing anything else off to the side here that I had my heart set on. So, gosh, that's for that one. Okay, I gotta go back here. Where am I? Oh, I'm all out of sorts here, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, right here. Yeah, I really wanted something a little bit bigger, and that's why I wanted this big. Okay, you gotta go underneath there. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's gonna be really picky, really finicky. So, let me just trim it down just a little bit more. I'm sorry. Decisions are hard sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they are hard. And I, the only reason why I didn't want to trim it down more is because I don't want to actually lose the words. But, I mean, I need it to fit. So, that's what we're going to try to make it do without cutting off. I was going to cut the M. Okay. If you don't fit now, then you aren't going in there. Because I don't want to cut any more of those words off. Oh, yay. Yay, it fits. Okay. Now... What I want to do is I want to make it like it really is intended to be like that. And that will just have a, and um, I really like that bird though. Maybe, but you can't journal on there. I mean, I could journal at the top. So yeah, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do is put that out of my way here. I don't have any other, I have a big blue piece somewhere and I don't know where it went now. Is that the beginning of my book? Yeah. It sure is, and this pocket is blue too, but it's a different blue. Sitting on there, but I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it, just like that. And here's like just like what, just like what? Yeah, everything's falling off my desk. <laughs> okay, let me see actually how big this is, so I can. Eh, it's like 3.75. Okay. 3.75, yeah, see, why isn't it, did I measure that wrong? Maybe I meant 3.25, three and a half, yeah, 3.25, okay, there we go, it doesn't have to be exact, I just want it something like that, and I'm just going to line this up, and this is just going to be a little flip, a little flip, uh, flip pad, there we go. Okay, so that is going to be really cute. Yes. I actually want it going this way, though. I'm, I like the, the, whatever they are, flourishes going up the right angle. <laughs> the right angle. Okay, so I'm going to be able to flip that open. I'm going to cover this because I, I don't want that on there. Let's cover it with... Um, let's cover it with... Should we use green? Because I could write on green. Uh, I could. Oh gosh. I think we'll do green. I think green will be nice. It's going to actually thicken this up a lot. Okay, so I'm going to do this the easy way. And I'm just going to ATG on this down right on top of here. And then I can trim it off and then it'll be just fine. It'll be wonderful. There we go. I'm just making a little cover. This is my cover. Front cover and the back cover. Don't glue that wrong. Don't stick it on there wrong. Almost did it, guys. You see that? 
<laughs> uh, I've done that a lot. There we go. Now, I don't have to wait for anything to dry. So I'm going to pull this in, trim it down. There we go. Set that up there and pull this down. Okay. There. Super cute. I'm loving it. So now it'll also break up the white page in there. Okay. Now oh, let's add in some pages. <clears throat> okay. So I found these in my stash over here. And I should be able to get two pages out of this one. So I'm going to actually... I was going to rip it. But I was like, no, I'm not going to rip it. I need it to fit inside there, so I'm just going to do three inches. I know that will fit. I think I'm going to add however many pages I can. Three, four, five. So I'm not going to use that one. Let's make sure I like that before I start getting all crazy. Yeah, there we go. Now let's do the length. So it's not hanging out of the book. So I don't want any flip-ups or anything crazy like that. So this is a little bit less than five inches. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do 4.75 because I want to maximize my writing space here. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be cut off of here. And this one does have some folded, you know, from where it was folded in the nail. So I'm just going to try to use this big side over here. Cutting off the words from the other side. And slip that in there. Go to three inches. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're almost done. I mean, I can believe it, but it's it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. We're, we're coming to the end of it. I forgot how long it is. 4.75. There we go. Okay, and that one's going to be too short. And then this way, we'll just go 4.75. I don't know if this one will fit. Is this going to fit? Look at it that way, 4.75, and then this way is by 3. That side's actually the one that's crooked. I'm just trying to add as many pages as I can. I don't mind that it's crinkly. So I just want to use my stuff. I just want to use my stuff up. Actually, I'm going to cut off this bottom side because it's pretty close to being straight there. And then 3. Okay, so there we go. Those are my pages. Sorry, that was probably really boring to watch. And I wasn't. And I noticed that there's a little bit here, but I'm not worried about that because when I actually write on it, I cover it up with some washi or something. So I'm gonna alternate some of these. Um, I don't want to start out with a page that's got crinkles in it. It's just me. Okay, there we go. Here is my back, which is gonna be going. Well, it goes like this. Oops, that's the front. Hello. Wow, I'm all kinds of out of order. All right, it goes like this. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's our little notepad. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. I love it. I was going to add a pocket, but I don't think I'm going to add a pocket now. And I'm going to just staple it. Since I found my stapler. All right here. Hello. Hello, glue. Thanks for joining us. Let's make sure there's staples in here. Yeah, there's some gold staples in here. Whoop. My son was playing with it earlier today. He made some of them pop out. So I'm just going to staple it, I think. I was going to say three times, but. We'll just do three. And that'll add a little bit of shine to the top. Okay. It went all the way through. That was a little bit tough there at the end. See, now we have a little flip pad. Super cute. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay. So that's going in here. And then we have a pop of color on the back so you could actually store it this way if you wanted to. But I'm going to start with what I wanted on there. On the front. So there we go. That is it. That is everything that I needed to add to my little journal here, guys. So thank you so much for stopping along and checking it out. And I will... Oopsies. Oopsies. We forgot one thing. Wow. Let's go ahead and just use this page here, like that, and I'll just trim it down. Actually, I won't trim it down. I will make it into a little library card. Totally missed my little top tuck there. Okay, 
Now I need some glue. I can't believe I forgot my top tuck, corner tuck like that. Oops a doopsie. Okay. Not a big deal. I found it before I hit the end of the video. So there we go. And on this one, I'm going to leave the back side of this so I can journal on here. I'm not going to cover up that white. And then whatever I tuck in here will also be able to journal on. So let's go ahead and decorate the front of this. I think I'm going to add, well, there's a lot going on over here. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll just leave it. You guys like that? I think there's a there's a lot going on with the balloons and right next door and the florals and yeah I think I'm just gonna let that breathe I'm gonna let that breathe and if I decorate it later when I actually use it that's really cool too okay let's take a peek at our little thing here and it's not really holding so let's go ahead and add some should we add lace should we add lace or should we add some of this let's add some let's add some lace. I feel like that's going to be really pretty. Let me find my lace here. Okay, one second. Okay, <laughs> I had to go find my lace. So I just want to add a little bit of that same lace that's over here on my journal. I really like this lace. I have no idea where I got it from or anything like that, but I had it, and so let's use it since I already used it in the journal, and I think this will be really cute just to sort of add a little something something there. And I'm really hoping this works as far as um, getting that metal to stick down. I've never done anything with metal pieces before, so I might have to get some super glue or gorilla glue or something. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just exploring my my junk journal creativity with using different materials. So if y'all know what holds metal down, just let me know. So I don't know if. This is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to actually try to wipe off that there and then add a blob of glue in the center of the metal piece and stick it to my little doily or my, my doily, my lace, my doily. <laughs> uh, no, it's not a doily. It's kind of close to a doily, but it's not a doily. Oh, I love it. I really think that's super cute. Adorable. Oh my gosh. And I think it will hold that staple out of here. Okay, let's see here. Now, where in the world? I'm going to tuck that in there. See, told you guys that was going to be hidden. Um, my tickets. We added that. That goes in there. Uh-oh, did I end up making an extra thing? No, here it goes. Silly Amber, just forgot. Just forgot what I'm doing, guys. Still mind me. <laughs> there. There, everything has a home now. So, okay, now we are officially done. Officially done. Um, I have some lace over here that I've pulled out from my stash that I'm going to use to keep my journal tight and shut. I might end up trimming some of it off because, I mean, it is already a chunky monkey. And I want it to fit on my shelf and be, you know, not so fat. Not open up and let everything fall out of there. So that is what it's going to look like. Thank you, everybody, who followed along with this series and stuck with me. I really hope you enjoyed it, learned some new techniques, and had a fun time. We'll catch you all back on the next video. Bye, guys.